Twitter shadow ban and Elon Musk. According to Elon Musk, Twitter creates a function that indicates whether you have been shadow banned. You had me right there. Twitter will also provide a means for you to appeal and explain why. Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we will be telling you about Twitter and Elon Musk. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's begin. A software upgrade that will give you access to a tool that can reveal whether you've been shadow banned has been disclosed by Elon Musk as being in development by Twitter. The term has a different meaning for each platform, but being shadow banned generally makes your profile difficult to find or your post invisible to other users. According to Musk, the new tool would also provide instructions on how to appeal and explain why you were shadow banned. Twitter is working on a software update that will show your true account status, Musk said in a tweet. So you know clearly if you've been shadow banned, the reason why and how to appeal. With its most recent update, Instagram included a similar function that informs if you are temporarily restricted from recommendations. Instagram is aiming to expand the tool so that you can check whether you've been barred from appearing in recommended accounts. It can only display if you've been blocked from Explore, Feed, and Reels recommendations. Musk made the news shortly after Barry Weiss published part two of the Twitter files, but he did not mention how Twitter will implement the functionality. Weiss claimed in the thread that Twitter shadow banned some conservative characters by using visibility filtering, another name for shadow banning. Musk previously referred to himself as an absolutist of free speech. He began removing the prohibitions on some controversial users after seizing control of Twitter, including former President Donald Trump, prominent neo-Nazi publisher Andrew Anglin, and other white nationalists. Since Musk took charge, advertisers have been leaving the platform owing to worries about policy changes and the reactivation of banned accounts. Twitter told advertisers that none of its policies have changes, in a blog post published toward the end of last month. And to entice advertisers back to the platform, Twitter is getting ready to offer a set of ad limits, according to a recent report by Reuters. Advertisers will be able to prohibit their ads from showing above or below tweets with the particular keywords they specify, thanks to the controls which might go live as soon as next week. The social network announced in a tweet thread that its Twitter Blue membership service would relaunch on December 12th, and subscribers would receive a blue check mark once their accounts have been vetted. Though it provided no further information, the long-standing blue check mark verification logo on the social network was initially created to demonstrate that verified individuals are indeed who they claim to be. Additionally, Musk's intention to link the badge to a subscription fee led some detractors to declare the authentication sign useless. When Twitter Blue was first released, Musk's plan also caused pandemonium as some users hid behind the check marks to impersonate others, including Musk himself. The service was suspended, but it will now reportedly return. According to the information, Twitter informed staff that it would charge $7 per month for its Twitter Blue premium service if users paid for it online. Musk had earlier predicted an $8 monthly fee. However, the article also mentioned that Twitter Blue subscriptions through the iPhone app would cost $11. The price rise responds to Apple's 30% cut in iOS purchases. Twitter or Apple did not immediately answer response quests. Bloomberg reports that Apple had completely resumed its Twitter advertising. According to reports, the corporation spends more than $100 million annually on platform advertising. According to the Bloomberg article, Musk tweeted his appreciation to advertisers for coming back to the site after they met with Apple CEO Tim Cook. According to platformer Zoe Schiffer, Amazon stopped running several Twitter advertising efforts, but intends to expand platform advertising spending to $100 million annually. Requests for a response from Apple and Twitter still need to be answered. Amazon chose not to respond. Musk has hired Matt Tybee, formerly of Rolling Stone magazine, and now with Substack. Barry Weiss, formerly of the New York Times and currently the head of a new media firm, The Free Press, to get internal communications from Twitter's previous ownership into the public domain. Because of their strong resumes and lack of devotion or commitment to anyone other than themselves, Tayabi and Weiss were selected. There are genuine receipts documenting the shadow banning and suppression of Twitter accounts carried out by top Twitter executives in the document dump given to Weiss. Internal emails claim that these blocklists included a trends blacklist that prevented tweets from trending, a search blacklist that made it nearly impossible to find specific users or tweets, and a do not amplify setting that prevented tweets from receiving the type of interaction they would normally get if left alone. A new Twitter files investigation reveals that teams of Twitter employees build blacklists preventing disfavored tweets from trending and actively limit the visibility of entire accounts or even trending topics, all in secret without informing users," Weiss tweeted. Weiss claims that several well-known conservatives, including Fox News host and podcaster Dan Bongino, Turning Point USA's Charlie Kirk, the libs of TikTok, and Dr. Jay Bhattacharya of Stanford University who opposed COVID-19 lockdowns, saw a significant decrease in the visibility of their tweets. 
Some journalists and Democratic MPs referred to them as conspiracy theorists when they protest. Republicans have this warped perception that Google and Facebook and others are shadow banning them. Rep. Eric Swalwell, Democrat, California, told Axios earlier this year. You know, warped perception that Google and Facebook and others are shadow banning them. When you look at like the best performing uh, pages on Facebook and it's all conservative voices, but they- They were correct and Swalwell was mistaken, it turned out. However, there has been total and utter silence in most media outlets, as opposed to this being a front page item to the New York Times and the Washington Post, or deserving of many parts on TV news. For instance, the Times, the Post, CBS, NBC, ABC, CNN, and MSNBC chose not to cover this story in their print and digital publications, or on their radio and television broadcast on the day of, and the day following the Twitter dump to Weiss this week. This is especially significant for CBS, NBC, and ABC, since when total viewers are included, more than 20 million people watch their evening newscasts, which have the power to influence public discourse. Because the public is never informed of facts that might alarm them or be of interest to them, it is sometimes referred to as the bias of omission, which is arguably worse than overt bias. Again, Collins says there is nothing to see. Block lists? Why all the fuss? What matters if a political party chooses to ban and silence opposing viewpoints on a sizable social media platform? Who cares whether this is supported by emails? Why is this significant, besides the fact that this kind of repression is what one could anticipate from Pyongyang rather than a US company, due to the significant changes in political campaigns? Because more people are watching material on their phones, primarily through social media rather than traditional television, television advertising is less effective and significant. Given how close our elections have gotten, the outcome of the messaging battle on social media and their search engines like Google could determine the outcome. The good news is that the newly Republican-controlled House of Representatives has already committed to holding hearings and involving Twitter and the tech behemoths Google and Facebook. Free speech should be important to the free press, relating to honesty and fairness. Instead, the majority of people are ignoring or dismissing this news. But due to Elon Musk, the curtain has finally been pulled back on Twitter. He possesses the receipts. A fresh age has started. However, the harmful effects of the sneaky technique of shadow banning have already been felt. That is all for this video. We'll be back with another informative video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Until next time.